In this video, we will learn all about similar polygons and scale factors. First, let's talk about what makes two polygons similar. Two polygons are similar if they are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. That's the basic idea. So for example, these two squares, the first square, which has all side lengths of one, and the second square, which has all side lengths of two, these two shapes would be similar because they're both squares, but different sizes. Here's an example of two shapes that would not be similar. If we took two triangles, one that had two sides of side length two and one of side length one, and another triangle where all side lengths were four, these two shapes are not similar because even though they are both triangles, the ratio between the two shapes is not consistent. So in order to be similar, the corresponding sides must be in the same ratio. So if you pick any pair of sides that are corresponding, the ratio between them should be consistent throughout the whole shape. So this doesn't work with the triangle example because if we look, these two sides have a ratio of two or one half, depending on how you think about it. You could multiply the two by two to get four. Same thing for the other pair of two and four. The ratio between those two sides is also two. So, so far that's fine. What throws it off is this third pair of sides where one side is one and one side is four. So the ratio there, instead of being two, is four, and that's a problem. In order to be similar, all of these numbers should be the same. If we go back to the square, we're fine, because with the square, to get from every side and the smaller square to its corresponding side and the larger square, we just multiply by two. So this number that you multiply by to get to the second shape, the larger shape, or to go from the larger shape back to the smaller shape is called the scale factor. So basically this ratio that has to exist, the common ratio that has to exist between the sides is called the scale factor. Another property of similar polygons is that all their corresponding angles will be congruent. And this is because in order for the two shapes to be actually the same shape, the angles have to be the same. So if you think about the square example, it was true in that case because all the angles are right angles. So in fact, it will be the case that any two squares are always similar to each other. Also, any two equilateral triangles will always be similar to each other because all their angles will be the same and all the side lengths are the same, so the ratio would have to be consistent throughout. Let's just look at one more example of similar polygons. In this last example, we have two rectangles, and these two polygons rectangles are similar because if you look at their corresponding sides, like the one and the three, the ratio between those two sides is three, so the scale factor is three. And also, if you look at these corresponding sides, the long side, the ratio again is three, so the scale factor is three. So because it's consistent, and it would also be consistent with these last two sides because it's a rectangle, that means that the polygons or the rectangles are similar. Notice again that all their corresponding angles are congruent because they're all 90 degrees. And that will always be a property of similar polygons.